I thought I had a lot of tabs open with my 30 to 40 tabs. That's lame. But that's nothing compared to this person. Firefox power user keeps 7,400 tabs open for two years. What do you think? Is this true? I mean, it's on the internet, so it has to be. Mostly I use Chrome though, and Chrome has done a lot of work to be a little bit more transparent. So if you hover over a tab, by default now you get memory usage. So this particular article is taking up oh 1.8 gigabytes of RAM just for this one tab. No thanks, PC mag. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's, that's just crazy. There's no way that you can have 7,400 plus browser tabs open in Chrome if they're that huge. But to be fair, this article says Firefox. So let's open Firefox and here's that same article. Now Firefox doesn't tell you how much RAM is being used by that tab. Not here. If you go to Process Manager, you could get a sense of what's being used. And this one is telling me 628 megabytes. So a lot less than Chrome. I was curious myself to see if I could get that many tabs open. So I wrote a little script and I'm gonna run it in several different browsers to see if this will crash my computer. Computer, and it may. But first, what is going on? What could possibly be running inside this Chrome tab that's 1.2.5 gigabytes now? This is unacceptable, folks. There's web content being rendered. That's the JavaScript, CSS, the HTML. Those are small things, usually. There's media files, which are a little bit larger, images, videos, and you could have a lot of those on the web page. There's JavaScript execution, which could or could not take up significant amount of memory, depending on what they're doing. To make a web page interactive, which I don't see why this one should be. It's a, it's a post, it's a small post. There's not much going on here, except all these ads. Now for these ads, typically what happens is the website is loading iframes and iframes are just instances that live inside of the browser tab inside of the page that open up other websites there's also plugins and extensions in chrome if we have extensions i don't have that many turned on because i don't like extensions i've noticed significant harm being caused by certain extensions for my performance so i keep it minimal so i think the biggest culprit on pages like this is gonna have to be ads and iframes let's have a look at this one there you go. There's an iframe right there. And look, another iframe and another one and another one and another one and another one. And this whole page is basically a ton of iframes and each iframe is loading up a separate little web page. If we take a look at activity monitor here, I have a 64 gigabyte RAM machine and my memory used is 30 gigabytes. And if we sort by memory here, we see that Google Chrome helper renderer, that's the one, that's that's this page, that's this tab. Google Chrome process is the actual browser running. That's only 300 megabytes and it's less than Firefox. Firefox is more than double just for the browser itself, but the render is for each of the tabs. And I have a few tabs open. If we take a look at my website, native scripting.com, Com. This is just a static Gatsby site. There's not much going on in this page. Very simple. There are a bunch of images, testimonials, and so on. And this one is taken up 96 megabytes. Even with all these images that I have loaded, it's still under 100 megabytes. Now this person right here, Hazel, doesn't close tabs because it's like a trip down memory lane. 7,400 tabs. Let's take an average. An average is, let's do Let's do even lower. Let's do 100 megabytes per tab. 722 gigabytes of RAM you'd need on your machine to have all those tabs. Sort of, not exactly. Browsers these days have become a little smarter about managing RAM. They offload some of the processes. They run each tab in its own individual process. This is for security and also stability of each of the tabs. So the tabs don't interfere with each other. They don't have malicious scripts doing things across the tabs. But all that is costing significant memory usage for each tab. So now browsers offload some of the content and they cache it and it's not actively in memory when your tab is not being used. Maybe if we do that, then we can have 7,400 tabs. Let's give it a shot. Open tabs. Uh, here I grabbed the Majestic Million. It's a CSV file which you can download and it has the top 1 million URLs that are visited, I guess. Global rank. I don't want a million. So I scraped that down, grab top URLs, this little shell script. So I got the top 100, top 1,000, and then top 10,000. This is using Apple script and it's telling the application blah, 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 Google Chrome or Edge or Safari to activate. It opens up the app and then it does a little loop and it opens up the tabs that are in the file that I pass in. So I'm gonna pass in top 100. We're gonna start with Chrome, top100.txt. 
By the way, I stopped my screen recording because I have a feeling that's gonna fail at some point. Boom. Oh. Um, I did not pick these URLs, folks. So, okay, just so you know. This is the top 100 from that list, and some of these are not done loading yet, especially these news sites. Oh man, that's gonna be, oh, oh. let's have a quick peek at the activity monitor here. Uh, 32 gigabytes used. I think this computer is managing it fine. That's a hundred tabs. I can still make out the little icons at the top, so that's not bad. Look, this particular tab, I just randomly clicked on it. 277 megabytes, 108 megabytes for Twitter, 119 for YouTube. You get the idea. Let's do Safari next. Wow, uh, <laughs> I'm up to 39 gigabytes now. Safari seems to handle that fine. I'm gonna guess that Edge also handles that fine because they're all based on the same thing. Where, where is it? Oh, okay, there it goes. Edge is using 500, 600 megabytes of RAM, and then it's got the Edge helper renderers, same thing as Chrome does. It pretty much just works. Now we're gonna do Firefox. Now Firefox, for some reason, doesn't work the same way. It has a very different way of opening these tabs up. Here's the script, it's quite different. I sleep for 10 milliseconds before I open a new tab, which is kind of annoying. And also Firefox is taking a lot longer to load each one of these tabs. It also doesn't show all the tabs at the top. Instead, they give you a little scrolly thing. I don't know, it might be a setting that you can adjust. But imagine if you have 7,500 tabs open, how do you even find anything? Maybe here? Ah, go to open tabs and it just lists all of them for you. That's pretty good. It's a tab manager, I like it. We're about 31 gigabytes total on the system, so nothing crazy. Let's go up to a thousand tabs. And since Chrome, Safari, and Edge are pretty much the same, I'm just gonna go with Chrome from now on. Top 1000. Okay, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, it's still opening up all these tabs. I'm gonna just move this window over here while they're opening so I can keep an eye on the memory here. It's still going though. Oh wow, Google Chrome Helper GPU is 7.42 gigabytes. We're at 49 gigabytes memory used on the system. Is it done? It stopped over here on this website, Arnie Brackhold. Arnie Brackhold, if you're watching this video, um, you win something, I don't know. Get in touch with me. <laughs> I mean, it looks like things opened up, so nothing crashed. We're still within the memory limit of my system. If you have a 32 gigabyte machine, you may be in trouble. Now, Chrome also has a list of open tabs right over here, uh, but it's not very easy to scroll through. But I don't think a thousand tabs would be easy to scroll through in any browser. I'm gonna close this up and let's try Firefox. That took a while to close even. <laughs> Here we go. All right, it's downloading. We're at 55 gigabytes used. So Firefox does use quite a lot more RAM than any other browser that I've tested. I didn't test Brave or Opera or anything. So let's see, we're still opening up these tabs. Uh, some of these are not working. We've got a lot of a lot of these broken um, timeouts. Now, realistically, how much memory would you need if you have 7,500 tabs open? I don't know. But right now I'm at 55 gigabytes and I only have a thousand tabs and not all of them even have content loaded in it because, well, things are breaking. It, whether it's because of the amount of tabs I have open or because my ISP is blocking these at this point, it looks like it's not my ISP. It may be the speed at which I'm trying to open these. These are opening up if I go to them individually. Even Arnie Brackhold's page, but not initially. And that could just be because of my script. Yeah, if you are doing this for nostalgia's sake, I guess you'll have these open in your list. And then if you wanna go there, you just go click and it takes you to that tab. It's kinda like, there's a feature been around for a while um, that does something like this. Oh yeah, bookmarks. And that one doesn't take up memory. Now we've purged that some of that memory. Let's do 10,000. Here we go, Chrome, boom. Uh, is something happening? Hello? Oh, oh, it's going. It just suddenly popped up and it's opening up all the tabs. My ISP is not gonna be happy with this. There it goes, okay. This Google Chrome helper is 6.39 gigabytes. We're at 39 gigabytes total now for my system. It's still opening up these tabs. We're at 45 gigabytes, 46, still going. It's going and going, oh my gosh, it's filling these up. I can't really interact with my system anymore. We're at 52 gigabytes usage on the system. Anytime I switch to a different program, it just puts me back into Chrome because that's the 
the active one at the moment. That memory pressure is still in the green. It's going up a little bit, but uh, not in the yellow or orange or anything. We're hovering around 55 gigabytes and any interaction I have here is really severely slowed down. All right, we've hit yellow or orange, whatever you want to call it, in memory pressure. And even though memory used is hanging around 55 gigabytes, you can see that compressed keeps going up. Now compressed is at 27 gigabytes now and cached is at eight gigabytes. So overall, even though memory used is hanging around the same level, we've got memory pressure going up from everything else that's going on here. We've got some bad news. Suddenly everything on this Chrome window just disappeared. All the tabs are gone. The memory usage is still there, but there's no user interface in Chrome at all now. It's done. There's a beach ball. Now you can actually joke about Google Chrome killing a MacBook because of memory usage, but it took 10,000 tabs. All right, I've just forced quit Chrome and my system has completely become unresponsive. The trackpad is not working on my Mac. Obviously my mouse is not gonna work either. Nothing. I can't do anything. It's like a bad dream. It's still managing to stay just 38 degrees Celsius. It's not bad, but that memory is not going away, even though I've quit the program. So I might have to just force reboot this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what just happened? Okay, my computer decided to maybe log me out. Yeah, it just says, get out of here. I'm done with you. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to this person that had 7,500 tabs open. I'm going to do this in Firefox, even though we've seen that Firefox uses more memory than Chrome. And I'm going to do 7,000 tabs instead of 10,000 to see if we can actually get anything working at that level. So grab top your RELs, 7,000, top 7,000. And these are the top 7,000 URLs. Let's go top 7,000 and there they go. This is gonna take a little while to open. Already the memory uses at 26 gigabytes. The compressed memory is barely anything. It's 140 megabytes and we're probably gonna see that going up in a similar fashion. We're approaching that area where Chrome kind of got stuck, but Firefox has now surpassed it in memory usage, 56 gigabytes used and compressed started going up. So at some point when it reaches 56 gigabytes, for some reason, Mac OS says, okay, from now on, we're gonna compress this stuff because I don't like where this is going. And now we're only increasing the compressed memory so I suppose Hazel used a different technique than I'm using. But what about the result? The result should be kind of the same because you're popping open all these tabs at the same time. Well, your memory is going to shoot through the roof. So maybe Hazel is using a machine with more RAM than I have, which is possible. On a Mac, you can have 96 or 128. If it's a laptop, maybe a 256 if it's a desktop. But that's still a lot of memory to waste on just having open tabs. And if you do pop all these open at the same time, is your system gonna crash like mine did with Chrome? Okay, I cannot interact with the Firefox window at all. It's just a beach ball. 22 gigabytes compressed, 55 gigabytes used, and we have a page being rendered, folks. Switching tabs is taking forever. So it looks like I'm getting some errors here from Firefox. It's still trying to open up new pages, but uh, Firefox is now giving me an error. No eligible process with specified descriptor. Firefox says, Listen, I'm done with this. I don't want to open up any more of your stupid websites. Now it's just giving errors to my script. I can barely interact with my system at all. Is this a usable experience, folks? I don't think so. And here we are. Firefox has some built-in smarts to handle this kind of situation. Look at this. Memory pressures in the orange. Memory used 56, compressed 33 gigabytes. And each tab that it's being opened now is giving this message right here. Gah, your tabs just crashed and you can report this tab. And this is happening pretty much with all the tabs now. They're all crashing. So I really don't know what to believe. Maybe Hazel has a different method of doing this in Firefox, but so far, this does not look very promising. If you have a different method, let me know in the comments down below, and maybe I'll try it and I'll add a pinned comment or something if I figure out how to do this and how Hazel maybe has done this. But overall, folks, use bookmarks. This is just nuts. Why would you waste all that memory? All right, if you like crazy experiments like this one, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.